Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. Today, a quick minute on how do you land a job, a quick minute on how do you land a bid. Well, when it comes to landing a job, you might say, well, when I go in there to make a proposal, I've built up a relationship with them so they know they can trust me. I've gone through the walkthrough, I've talked to them. So there's personal relationship. Then there's price. I hope it's not low price. I hope it's a competitive and profitable price. Then you probably show them your professional proposal and, their, and your plan for them for cleaning. And then in addition to that, you might describe your systems that you have in place. And all of those things go together. And then what's the last ingredient? Very often a list of three or four or five references, places you clean with phone numbers they can talk to them. That's powerful in landing a job. Now let's talk about landing a bid. So yeah, I'm talking about how do we get to get a bid before we even get to this. One of the important ingredients that's often missing is social proof. Yeah, where did that list of references go? Very often, up front, cleaning companies don't make available either written or video testimonials from customers. They wait until they deliver a proposal. Well, that's too late if you're trying to land the bid, even getting the opportunity to bid. Why is that? Over the years, when I've talked to cleaning companies, they've said, well, I'm a little bit cautious about that. I don't want to release this list of three or four or five names. I think my competitors, other cleaning companies, will call my customers and steal them away from me. Well, I can understand why someone might be fearful that way, but here's some things to consider. First of all, you should only be having those folks as references if you have a strong working relationship with them and also you're taking good care of them so they're just not going to be leaving you on a moment's notice. They're good customers. Secondly, I remember when I talked to a customer once years ago, I think it was a big auto dealer, and he said, Dan, you know, our relationship is good. I'm not just going to leave you. Heck, he said, I get over five calls a week from cleaning businesses just wanting to bid to get in here. So the illusion that kind of not letting people see our list of references is keeping us safe, that may just be an illusion in our own mind. Rather than that, if we leveraged social proof back up front, how would you do that? Either videos or written testimonials. Videos would be even better. I know it's an inconvenience, but they're so powerful. In our company with software, Clean Guru, once a year or two, I'll ask, would anyone be willing to tell, tell us your experience with, with software? And over 100 people, it's always this large, large number of people that are willing to do it. And I contact as many as I can to make arrangements around the, comp around the country for there to be videographers to, to uh, record those wonderful uh, testimonials. And they're so powerful. The good news is you may only need two or three or four of these, and you could really leverage strong social proof from your customers to land a bid not have to wait for a list of references to help land the contract, right? Both of them is what you want. I hope that helps. Until next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.